right, awesome. Let's go back. <laughs> Slowly. There we go. Okay, awesome. So welcome to team meeting. Thank you, you guys, for coming out today. We're going to celebrate our April production awards. We had an awesome April. I'm still working on putting together my numbers email, but we had quite a few best ever, like evers in the 15 years of our market center. So um, congratulations on that and watch for an email from me today. But um, so to start, we're just going to do our mission statement to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Our um, mission statement is to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers. And our values are God, family, then business. Um, does anybody have anything from the MVVB piece that has stood out to them over the last week? Any, anything in your business? I can tell you teamwork, everyone achieves more. Red day, guys, we'll talk about red day, but that was so awesome. We were so quick and slick and just, we worked really well as a team. And um, so thank you for that. Our perspective, a technology company that provides the real estate platform that our agents, buyers, and sellers prefer. Keller Williams thinks like a top producer, acts like a trainer consultant, and focuses all its activities on service, productivity, and profitability. Okay, big why. Does anybody wanna share with me their big why? Why do you do what you do? What drives you? Emily. <laughs> Hang on. Here you go. Financial security is what drives me. I love that. Thank you for sharing. All right. Um, we have our vendor spotlight today. John Wolf from J Sky Cam. He does drone photography. He has sponsored our lunch today. Um, if you would like to come up, John, and oh, right there, I'm looking. <laughs> come on up and introduce yourself and. Uh, Tell us a little bit about what you do. Let's see, you've got a PowerPoint right here. And you can just use the arrows. Yep. Um, it won't have present. No, okay, it'll change just... it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, my name is John Wolf. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Um, one of my favorite things about being a drone pilot is all the people I meet and I've traveled to some really fun places and seen some really cool houses. And uh, this is the first time I'm actually presenting myself in a crowd like this. So that's really fun. Uh, it's usually just been more of a, a working person through person sort of an operation. I've, uh, I've been a drone pilot since uh, 2018. I have a DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus V2. It's a really long, unnecessary title. <laughs> um, and uh, I've I got my license in 2019 and I started working professionally in 2020. And I'm just looking to expand my horizons and also expand everybody else's horizons. Um, there's a reason why it's been said that drones are an aerial revolution. And that's because uh, drones are literally and figuratively elevating the level of our work. Uh, you take something one dimensional, like a picture of up from the ground, and you elevate it, uh, suddenly giving it three dimensions. Um, it creates escalation where a new standard is set, and consequentially, the expectations of people are they they rise. And um, I have found that. Let's see, the attractiveness of listings soar when the pictures or the videos are taken from an angle that's above the ground. Because how else could you capture in a single picture the entirety of a house, its yard, its beauty, its immediate surroundings, its uh, distant surroundings, and of course, the, the feeling of a neighborhood. Um, it's it's multi-purpose, it's multi-productivity, it's economy, it's, it's remarkable. 
Um, these are just some houses that I have done. This one's pretty close to here. Um, it's in Harriman. I, I did this one over here in Lehigh. Um, and in this house that was done in Riverton, I um, put more pictures into the presentation to than the other ones to give some examples of the overhead of the yard. This one is a favorite of people who look at listings. And uh, context, I think context, one of the biggest advantages of having aerial photography or videography. Um, in this house, uh, near schools or parks being nearby is uh, pretty common, um, I have found, and as well as uh, relationship to a shopping center. Uh, that is actually really close to here too. Um, I don't know if this video is going to work. Maybe it won't. If it doesn't, that's fine. Okay. Here's an example of the house that I did in a pleasant road. try to make sure to have mountains in every shot. We got a um, triple whammy here, house, school, mountains, parks, neighborhood, community, Bone Peak, uh, Timpanogos Temple. Really, I just want to uh, find anyone who's interested in using uh, aerial pictures and aerial videos in their listings. I found that everyone does it differently, and that's cool. I, I've worked with agents that um, they really focus on this. And then I've worked with other agents that say, well, I maybe do a couple aerial pictures, but I really just do a lot of interior photography and videography. And that works fine. I think that's one of the beauties of this uh, industry is that variety runs the show and I'm a huge fan of variety but uh, it's so let's see let's put it this way space is the final frontier right well similarly uh, drones are the final frontier of visual marketing so I invite you to join the aerial revolution thank you thank you appreciate it Thanks so much. We appreciate the support. And um, if you guys need contact information, we'll have it on our vendor page and, um, and Barry can help with that as well. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Brant, do you have a mortgage minute for us? Awesome. Oh. Thank you. Um, rates have kind of stabilized so far. So it's looking better than it did a few weeks ago. Um, a lot of the wholesale, uh, we have one wholesale lender. They came out with what they call a compete and beat. They realized all the, a lot of the buyers here are kind of squeezed. We got, in, we got purchase prices. Now we have interest rates. So the wholesale lender realizes that people are getting squeezed and they came out with a program. They call it the compete and beat. They, they're pretty clever, but basically what that is, um, we'll uh, beat any lender out there. And what that's going to do is really increase your pre-approvals. So we're looking at, you know, we saved a client 250 bucks on their mortgage, pay, on, on their mortgage. So we can increase the pre-approval by about 40 grand. So I, everyone's getting tied out there. We got to, we got to get what we can for our clients. And that's kind of the way that the market's shifting right now on our end is, Hey, we just got to get maybe even adjustable rates. We got to look at it, get, get them a lower rate so we can increase that purchase price for your clients. So that's pretty much what's going on right now with us. So 
And then uh, we can also shop them around other lenders, uh, cross country, Security National, all those guys too, to make sure you guys are getting all your stuff that you need for your clients. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brant. Yeah. Okay, so Red Day, um, show of hands, how many of you guys were there on Red Day? Yeah, so many. It was so amazing. Um, we were at Life Start Village and um, we painted their curbs red, we redid their landscaping, we put together a playset, hopscotch, a bunch of toys, just really made it pop for summer and give those kids a great place to, to play. Um, they have reached out to me and, um, and thanked us and said that they will be taking some pictures and videos over the next few days. So I will share those with you as, as I see them come through with the kids kind of enjoying what we've done. Um, and Sammy has put together a video too. It's not working to play. Okay. But, um, and we're going to send that out to everyone. So if you want to put it on your social media, um, I know a lot of people had clients and sphere that donated and helped you can kind of show them what we did and, and what we were about. So we'll get that sent out over email as well. Okay, so um, Interland, I just want to get a feeling. How many of you guys have ever put a client through the Interland app? Not very many. So it is friggin awesome. And it's a soft credit pull and the shops to all the different lenders that you select and gives them options without having to fill out application after application after application. So a um, brand is teaching a class and I want him to come up again and just tell us a little bit about what um, he's gonna go over and a little bit about what it is so that we can start plugging that into our business. Oh, where that, oh Sammy's got it. I'm back. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, so uh, our, our platform really is, uh, a way to best serve your clients and it also kind of helps them through the pre-approval process so like she said it's you can select uh three lenders uh and we can go the wholesale channel too and shop wherever again to get your clients the best op options out there sometimes the lowest rate's not the best sometimes it's someone who specializes in that product and we have contacts through the whole valley and in utah like i said cross country security national first colony uh, a plethora of brokers out, out, out there that we, you can select and your clients fill out one application. It's a soft pull at first. We know buyers are scared of getting their credit pulled. So it's a soft pull to kind of get them warm, kind of give them their option, get them excited. And then uh, we can shop around and see what's going to be best for them too. So that's kind of our platform is just make it as smooth as possible. We know clients are going to be rate sensitive, especially because of the market today. So it's like, hey, let's still keep the ball on our court. As, as an agent, you don't want them to go to a lender you don't even know and communicate with. Let's keep it in our court. Let's give them the lowest rate we can. If that's what they're looking for, maybe it's a specialty product. Maybe it's customer service. We can find the best one for them. Uh, and we'll walk you through how to do it. It's pretty easy. It syncs to your contacts. So really, you just click the contact and it goes. We have a concierge team that follows up with them, gets them to fill out the application. Then we go over options, upload documents. And once we find the best lender for them, we send them, we send that lender everything they need. So the client's not always sending stuff to another lender or filling out an application or anything like that. So it's kind of a platform is pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you the, the ins and outs of it. It's pretty slick and we can have communications between the app too. So can give you updates and, and uh, you guys can ask questions as well within that app itself. So keep communication open. And that'll be at the tech bar on the third Thursday, third Tuesday of every month, right? Yes, so that's today. Is it today, the third Thursday? I don't know. Yes, so today, <laughs> today at 2.30. 2.30 today, awesome. Make it easy, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Brant. Um, so I used Interland on my last buyers and um, it was really cool to get to see the process all the way through. So I simply plugged in their contact information, told them, hey, Interland's gonna reach out to you and get your information. Within minutes, I had a phone call from Interland. I had a notification on the, nat on the app that they had already been um, reached out to. It sent me notification that they were filling out their application. It sent me notification when their application was done. Like the communication was stellar. It was really great and it was really seamless for the clients as well. And then they get all these different options to shop. So I encourage you show up, learn a little bit about it, plug it into your business. It's great. Um, so we have a broker class. Those are always awesome. Rich is going to be teaching about seller financing on Wednesday from nine to 10. 
down here in the training room. So put that on your calendars, those ones you never want to miss. Um, we're still focusing on shift. So Terry's going to be teaching part two of three. It's not about the market. It's about what you do, buying and selling tactics. And that'll be on the 24th from 11 to 12 down here in the training room. And John is going to be our Meet the Masters host this month. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about what your class is? Fan in the back, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so yeah, so I'm doing Meet the Masters. We're going to do it on new construction. You can see I've entitled this, and sorry, my voice is a little out today. Um, hey, builders, why you got to be like that? So, and kind of the whole point of this class is I'm trying to help people understand a little bit well, we're trying to bring together realtor standpoint as well as the builder standpoint. So we kind of understand what everybody is going through, talk about builder policies, why builders have these policies, why they do things like force us to use their title company, why they have a preferred lender. It, it, is that just to hassle us agents or it, are there reasons for it and all that? So I'm hoping everybody will come. I've actually got four representatives from builders. I've got Rich America, Edge Homes, um, Ivory Homes, and Nielsen Homes that are coming, that are going to have people, and we're going to have a panel here, and we're going to kind of go through the construction process, kind of specific, I mean, these are all production builders, so we'll kind of be targeting that side of things, um, but we're going to be going through that, that process, and we're also going to have a little bit of open form, like, so you can ask and you can bounce questions off of them. It's like, hey, I don't understand this, or I don't feel comfortable with this. Why does your builder do this, that, or the other? I feel like the more education that we have and the more understanding we have, the better that we can represent our clients and the more that we can avoid pitfalls in the transactions that might give our clients a sour taste in the mouth. Because I know a lot of times it's, easiest, it's easy for us to say, hey, that dirty builder did this or that or the other. Really, at the end of the day, if you have a client that's feeling uneasy about their closing or feel, feels like their experience wasn't great with that builder, it actually reflects on you as a realtor. They may not come back to you because for whatever reason, they've got that feeling of, oh, this wasn't a great experience. And there's a lot of things that we can do as realtors to better represent. So at the closing table, they're happy and they're happy with what we did. So that's kind of the point of this class. I hope everybody comes, um, I think with the panel, of builders here and everything, it's gonna be really great. So I hope you take the, the opportunity. Awesome, thank you, John. One of the cool things I think about um, our culture here at the brokerage is just that we do have these amazing producers who have a specific niche that they know so much about and are willing to just teach us. And so I invite you plug into the Meet the Masters. We do them every month. Someone is sharing their vast knowledge on something specific that they know inside and out. So it's great to plug into those. Um, okay, another class we've got Thursday, May 19th from 2.30 to 3.30. We're gonna be creating social media content. So come leave with some content to post on your social media. Um, that'll be upstairs in the big conference room with Sammy. And then agent financials, I get to plug my own class here. Um, how many of you guys, if I were to ask you to show me your April profit and loss statement could do so? A couple. So we're gonna go over how to run your business as a business. Um, a lot of times we kind of default and lax on that side and focus where we should, right? On lead generation, but we need to treat our business as a business. And especially as we go into a shift, it's so important to know your numbers, know where you can adjust, know what you need to adjust. So we're gonna go over everything on this class with how to set up an LLC, how you should be set for taxes, what you can take as a deduction, um, how to set up your budget. How, we'll give you a P&L. That's a really easy, simple Excel spreadsheet. You can plug your numbers in. You can have a P&L by the end of the class. Um, we'll talk about budgeting, best practices, all of that fun stuff. And you get three hours of free CE credit. So this is gonna be over Zoom on Friday from nine to 12. Um, so if you wanna plug into that, that should be fun. Softball League. Sammy, do you wanna tell us about the Softball League? I don't see Lee. Lee Stern from Salt Lake was gonna come and talk trash to us. Yeah. So. <laughs> How many of you have ever played softball? 
Okay, a few. We're signing well, you all up right now. I just wrote down all your names. You're so committed. we're starting a little softball league. <laughs> just done it. You know, if you just want to bring Elizabeth is our snack provider. She'll um what? She'll um yeah. And head cheerleader. So the little clementine oranges that you eat to not get cramps during your game, she'll have them already unwrapped for you. Um, so we're just gonna start a softball league. It's no cost. Yes. No cost, and we'll provide no you cost. A so this is just supposed to be something fun that does not involve real estate. So no talking about real estate when we're there. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a draft. We're gonna see how many teams we can get together. We will all play against each other either Tuesday or Thursday afternoons in June or July. I haven't reserved the field yet. I'm waiting for a callback. Um, and then whoever wins this big tournament plays against all the other market centers in an even bigger tournament. So we're going to kick everyone's trash for sure. Can't say the other word, but yes. So I'm going to pass this around. If you want to play, you can also write on here. You want to be a cheerleader. You guys are welcome to just show up and watch. I know Salt Lake had like 50 people show up just to watch the games. You can bring your own alcohol. That's <laughs> enticing to you. So yeah, I'll pass this around. Awesome. Thank you, Sammy. So that'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna try and continue to have things like this just to have something fun to do. Splash Summit Water Park. Who did this last year? Quite a few of us. Okay, $5 a wristband. Wristbands are for sale right now. You can get them from Sammy. You're gonna be giving them out to your clients as a touch. That means no line at the front door. So they will be able to walk right in with their wristbands because they already have them. That's been probably the biggest improvement. We've been trying to get rid of lines, get rid of lines. There will be no line. They'll have a wristband, they'll walk right in. Um, so for $5, they get parking to rental and admission to the park. So invite your whole sphere and whoever RSVPs buy that amount of tickets. Um, the tickets are non-refundable. So if someone cancels, go invite another family. Um, Great opportunity, you should get about five SOI touches out of each event, so it's great to plug into. All right, production awards. So our agent of the month this month is Nate. He's out of town, right? Sammy, do you wanna tell us why we selected Nate? So, I don't know if anybody knows Nate, he's not in the office a whole lot, but he went from being a part of a team um to a solo agent in the past few months he's just he's been killing it on his own um he's very resourceful i know some of the newer agents have been doing open houses for him so you want to reach out to him it's very nice about letting people do that but yeah he's just been killing it so we wanted to recognize him awesome congratulations nate and cultural icon of the month was trent bright and trent is not here nobody's showing up <laughs> um does anyone know who trent is so he's our big commercial guy. He owns Apex. He's actually, am I allowed to say? Say what? Oh yeah, that's okay. Fine. I was, I don't know if it's a secret. So <laughs> they're actually moving in on the main level. Trent is a hoot and a half. If you get a beer in him, he's even more fun. But he is just, he reps KW all the way. Um, he'll, you'll see him in the office sometimes. He just walks around, chats with people. And then he goes and talks to a billionaire and then he comes back and he chats with people. So he, I wanted to make him cultural icon because he doesn't forget where he came from and who helped him get there. And I think that's all about what KW is. Yeah. Awesome. So if you don't know him, now you've seen his face, you can stop by, say hi. Yes. Can I just say something about Trent? I would love for you to. <laughs> when he was here maybe two months ago mm -hmm. um, and sharing his story, I reached out to him afterwards because I had just gotten a lead uh, from somebody in my SOI uh, that wants to build up a new business. And this is commercial and obviously I have no clue about this, right? So I just kind of reached out to him um, and asked him, you know, because he told us at that event that he would be willing to help. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, Trent and his colleague, Eric, they have been absolutely amazing. I know they're like you said, billion, you know, billionaires and multi-million dollar 
uh, deals that they're dealing with on a daily basis. And then they care about little me, but they have been so graceful, so helpful, and they taught me so much and I'm really amazed. So That's wonderful. good joy. Thank you. That's great. We love Trent and his team. They will be a very good addition. So be sure you go down and say hi. Okay, so our bronze medal recipients, if you're here, let us know, we'll bring you a medal. So this is $2 million of annual volume year to date as of the end of April. So we have Clint Allred, Cody Felberg, Tyler Demars, Matt Bellini, Shirley Rickman, Steve Judkins, Andrew Fleming, Keaton Godfrey, Chase Watts, Rebecca Turpin, Brooke Lightly, Jill Sadler, Candace Evans, and Eric Girardi. So just one page. Oh, there's more, but wait, there's more. <laughs> uh, Tim Lowry, Amy Gibbons, Jason Judd, Marie Paul, Ryan Poole, Nate Sassy, Mike Carmody, Don Rushing, Jeff Eves, Tori Tarver, Cody Watts, Bobby Wolf, Scott Hurd, and Becky Nay. And that is everybody. Okay. Awesome. So silver, this is $5 million of year to date production of volume. Um, so we've got David Weiser, Jen Sobas, Heather Roxburgh, Justin Hurd, Annie Cannon, Lori Erickson, Patria Moralf, Emily Hayes, Chris Jones, Brian Hurd. So. And the last medal recipients, we've got $10 million of annual volume so far. We've got Ryan Pettit, Jared Hansen, and Trent Bright. Very cool. All right, so these are the agents that capped this month. So they will be enjoying 100% commissions until their anniversary date. So we've got Lori Erickson, Amy Gibbons, Sarah Hyatt, Steve Judkins, Ryan Poole, Sherilyn Hopper, Scott Hurd, and Adam Spencer. If you're here, come up and pick your capper gift. We've got these cool mugs. If you've capped and we're waiting for these, we had a few people that were like on a waiting list for these to get in. They're here, they're cool. They're kind of like the Stanley, but you've got coffee mug on the bottom and you've got the one on the top and then they hook together and branded for you. So come get your capper award. And if you've been waiting for these, they are here. Lori Erickson, Adam Spencer. Is Amy here? Mm, no. <laughs> no. We have to give out blankets. <laughs> okay, so profit share. These are the agents that earned over $100 in profit share for, um, is it for April. So John Austin, Tyler DeMars, Candace Gunn, Caprice Gunn, Emily Lowry, Carrie McEwen, Eden Wardle, Cody Watts, and Christy Weiser. So if you want to learn how to get your name on that list, talk to Terry. Okay, so we'll start with our production awards. So listings taken individual. We had Jared Hansen with four units at 3.5 million and Alicia Keller at three units at 6.6 .6 million. Listings taken team member, Heather Roxburgh, six units, 2.9 million. Justin Hurd, four units, 4.6 million. Ryan Pettit, three units, 3 million. And Tori Tarver, three units, 2.2 million. So, listings taken. Contracts written. We had Jared Hansen leading the way with nine contracts written, 5.7 million. Jen Sobas, Annie Cannon, Steve Judkins, Jeff Eves, Alicia Keller, Lori Erickson, Ryan Poole, Amy Gibbons. Is there a second page, Sam? Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay. Lisa Gonzalez, Shirley Rickman, Scott Hurd, Nate Sassy, Nicole Jones, Bobby Wolf, Rob Adams, and Tammy Losher. There you go. Okay. Contracts written by a team member. We have Lace Stevens leading the way with 9.8 units. Um, we've got Heather Roxburgh, Justin Hurd, Tyler DeMars, Alex Cifuentes. Ryan Pettit, Emily Hayes, Trent Bright, Chris Jones, David Weiser, and Brian Hurd. Is that all of them? Yes. Okay, so contracts closed by an individual. Jared Hansen closed 17 units in April at basically $10.5 million. 
And then we have Lori Erickson, nine units, $6 million. Very cool. We've got Bobby Wolf, Annie Cannon, Jason Judd, Ryan Poole, Amy Gibbons, Scott Hurd, Clint Allred, Steve Judkins, and Lisa Gonzalez. Very cool. Contracts closed by a team member. Justin Hurd led the way with 9.6 units and just over 6 million. And then we have Heather Roxburgh, Emily Hayes, Woo! Ryan Pettit, Trent Bright, Patria Moralf, <laughs> Cody Felberg, Tori Tarver, David Weiser, Tim Lowry, Brian Hurd, and Tyler DeMars. So our Crimson Club individual, Jared took the award this month at 30 units and just under $20 million in the month of April. Lori Erickson, come on up, girl. Thirteen units, nine point four million in the month of April. Tell us what your secret is. Fill us in. Let us know how to do what you do. There's no luck. It's skill. Okay, here. No. Well, there's not a secret. Just what, how do you do? Where do your leads come from? SOI. And what are you doing to nurture your SOI? I talk to them. How often? Every day. How many do you talk to every day? At least five. Five a day. Are you five calling, texting? All of the above. Okay. So here's the truth of it. Everywhere I go, I just talk about real estate. So if I go to the movie, I talk about real estate. If I go to the grocery store, I talk about real estate. You can work it into every conversation. There's no. I don't. Absolutely. The secret is communication, talking to your people. Thank you, Lori. Is Annie here? I didn't see Annie. Nope. Okay, so Annie took third place with 11 units and $10.7 million of production. All right, so group number one, South Valley proper closed 25 units and $21 million. Very cool. So anybody from South Valley proper here? Yay! We're not South Valley proper. <laughs> Even better. I don't see anybody there. Um, Roxburgh Group, 14 million. Anybody from Roxburgh here? Nope. Peak Collective, 9.3 million. They're all about busy selling houses. Cool. I got one more and then we're gonna we're gonna talk to Lee here. Um, Crimson Club team, 4111 took it at 25 units, just over 20 million dollars. Is Justin or Sarah here? Lacey Stevens took second place, 17 units, 9.1 million. I don't think either of them are here either. And Brian took third place, 14 units, 7.7 .7 million dollars. So awesome, you guys. Okay, so Lee, do you mind coming up and talking to us a little bit? We love having Lee in the house. <laughs> Brand new to us. Here's a here's a mic for you, so it goes into Zoom. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, thanks for having us out. Good to see you all. Um, Brooke and I are here to talk to you about. Oh, thank you. Temporarily, you get to hold it because you are not the champion coach. Not the champion coach. So we just did a fun thing in. Um, South Valley, we've done this, uh, or not in South Valley, in Sugar House. We've done this numerous times in the past, took a two-year little break for COVID, but we're back at it. We do a softball league, very short season, but a softball league. We got four coaches together, one, two. Our MCA, Rachel, was one of the coaches, and Phoenix, one of our young guns, was another coach. We then drafted all 225 people, onto teams you have to have 20 on a team or you have to have 60 on a team just to get 20 that'll play none of us well none of us show up. show up yeah not all of us play not all of us play well some have experience but that's the minority Why did you look at me when you said some of us don't play well <laughs> not intentional but we had more fun it was such a great way to get to know the agents really well i'll tell a true story about brooke we're in the draft. We've locked ourselves in a room. It's an hour and a half to get the draft done. We get to draft round five. And Brooke is now saying, 
I don't think I know any of the agents still on the thing. I, I was like Sean. I was like you guys with Sean Caldwell. Who is this guy, right? Yeah, you you just which was fine because that actually helped me as a coach get to know everybody in the office. And actually, it's created a hand quite a few relationships. Actually, we bought I bought a, a house or a building with Justin Pachar. Yeah, we're buying it. So it's created transactions. Look at that. Carmony, it'll work for you, buddy. It'll work for you. So today we're here hoping to find four coaches to start this process out. Because our goal is we had four teams. These two played, these two played. Then the winners of each of those two played each other. So he won his first one. I won my first one. And then I won my second one and I am the champion. And so, yeah, today I got a trophy for being the champion. Yeah, championship coach. But we would, we had so much fun. We'd like to do it again. And our thought was, if you all did that, and I'm going to talk to Midvale, and I'm also going to talk to Arm. And my thought is, how fun would it be if all four of our market centers each did this? You'd each get to play two, potentially three games. And then um, we could, our fourth place team could play your fourth place. Our third place could play your third place. And we could have a few more games over the course of the next three or four months. So I am looking for four people that would be willing to uh, be a coach. Where's Barry? Because Barry he called me. He's holding down the front desk. Okay. So Barry called me the other day, like two weeks ago, and said, so I hear you're putting together a softball league and he, or a softball team, and we'd like to play your softball team. And I said, well, I'm happy to put together an all-star team and compete against you, but here's what I'd rather do. I'd rather you all build community and have a great time, a lot of fun, cheering and playing, and then we play your teams rather than just have an all-star team. That's not nearly as much fun. This was all about building community, getting to know one another. We are not good. <laughs> seriously we got t-shirts so that you'd think maybe we were good but seriously we're not good and we just had a blast so that's why i asked tyler if it'd be okay if i came down today brooke and i and kind of challenged you all so how many of you would be up for my arranging within your market center to get four teams together for just what i call a shits and giggle kind of fun tournament <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Then she was not kidding when she said you don't have to be good. No, I'm not. You, you, we are good. You, I, I oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> We're gonna see if we'll have a championship. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be playing in it, but Leo beat your ass. <laughs> I I literally took my team to the batting cages after we'd done the draft, invited them to come to the batting cages almost everyone who came to the batting cages had never swung a bat champion team yeah. never swung a bat so it really is just about having a good time i picked my my talkiest uh agent stephanie to be the catcher she can't play ball uh but she can razz and get in your head while you're in the in the batting <laughs> box and just give you grief. So anyways, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to talk to Barry. I do need three more. I'm going to make Barry be one of the coaches since he was bold enough to call me. Um, so I need three more coaches. Okay. So if you're interested in that, will you let me know? Um, mine. Up. Oh, 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 oh. Sammy's tell me, tell me your name. Sammy. Okay. All right, so Barry, Sammy, Rich. I only need one more coach. You don't know anybody. Sean, you, you, that's exactly right. Thank you. Yeah, and, and honey, and here's how I'm going to support you, Sean, and you know this about me. I, I, I am now going to support you in your ability to extend your leadership skills. I'm going to enhance your life so that you have greater relationships with about 60 additional people. So Sean will be our fourth coach. Sean, 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 Sean. 
Okay. So I'm going to ask those coaches to call me and we will arrange how this is done. Okay. And uh, how we did the draft. I'll help you guys every step of the way. Um, we even have bases and stuff like that. So we can share all of that. But I look forward to playing the winning team and keeping my trophy. Just <laughs> let you know. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Lee. Awesome. We love any excuse we can get to bring Lee in and get to see her face. Even when it's softball, we'll, we'll take anything. All right, you guys, I'm going to give you back 15 minutes of your day. Stay, hang out, eat lunch, do some networking, talk to each other, get to know each other. And uh, thank you for coming.